Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Homeschooling 2. I'm going to show you my first grader's um, things that he has done uh, yesterday and today. Um, he was sick yesterday, so we only got a few things done. So it's a mix of stuff. Um, that's just his calendar. Um, we've been working on my book about me. Um, and it's just a Dr. Seuss book and he just pretty much answers um, his questions. I've had this since he was like in kindergarten. We just never finished it. So now that he can actually answer the questions by himself, I just give it back to him and he's been doing just working through it. Um, like this one is I go to school and it's I go on foot, I go by foot. And over here, my favorite teacher's name, he said, oh, it's just you, mommy. So he didn't want to write it down. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> he wrote his favorite subject and his worth and it, um, him being a good student. And then it keeps going as to the books he's read and his favorite, etc., like that. So he did a few pages on that. And he's been really into these amazing maces. And I got this from Dollar Tree. So he just grabs a page and just starts working on a page. So he does that like before he starts his schoolwork, just to get his mind going. And um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the spelling. And these subjects aren't in any order. So um, after he worked on it on the board, um, yesterday he really didn't do much on it. So today I just had him kind of do like a pre-test on the words and he still got three of them wrong. So we'll be going over those. And I guess on Monday I'll give him the test. Um, another thing that he has done is his um, reading comprehension. And let me see. He's been working on the, um, like a Venn diagram and just answering the questions by what's in here. And he just finished his questions. He's also working on a book. Let me get it. Hold on a second. Okay, so I had this little book. I don't know if I've shown it before. And pretty much he just picks a story and I just ask him to be creative. So he chose this uh, picture because this whole book is just for pictures. Um, so what I'm having him do is just choose a picture um, and what he did first is just write a few sentences on it. So he wrote what he thought they were doing and then I'll go around and I'll fix his grammar and his spelling and things like that and then the next day he fixes it which again he forgot something so he had to redo it this day until he got it uh, correct. So that's a writing thing that I'm doing. I'm just trying to teach him to uh, look at his grammar and correct himself and things like that. That's basically what I use that for. Um, he's also working on pages from his big workbook, which um, we had stopped doing, but it's the end of the school year, so I'm trying to do things a little bit easier. So I just had him um, do an ABC order. And then he did a crossword puzzle where the clues were down here. He had to figure out where they went. We've been working on poetry um, with a language art, uh, those language lessons, first language lessons, and I just Googled poetry and I found this really cool one and I just wanted him to memorize it. So he's been um, studying this poem to say it in front of the family when he's done. Um, another thing is I went on easy peasy. He's having problems with punctuation. So I went on easy peasy and just pretty much found where she had the punctuation, printed out the worksheet for him to do, and then just had him go through with me as a lesson about his punctuation. He also did a page on, a, on the phonics workbook on blends, and he just had to put his blends into the crossword puzzle, and he couldn't figure that one out, so we'll work on that. I have him reading his words like he was before will he read it and he read um, in the orange color first and then the next day was in purple until he gets them all and then the last one was the red which he got the next day <clears throat> this is on rhymes so he's working on rhymes with words he just finds the word that, that rhymes and just puts it into um, next to it and then for his writing and show you what we worked he is working on the winter celebration so for here he had to pick um he had to look at the picture and then pick uh, answer the question of where can you hang the lights he answered it and then who can hang the lights and he answered it and then put his stuff together at the end as a detailed sentence 
Um, and then today he pretty much had to do ending marks again. So they're working on ending marks and it's helping him out here. And then over here they just gave him a sentence and he had to figure out that it wasn't that ending mark but that one. So that is what he got done for his um, writing. I usually show um, his reading stuff he's been reading but I'm going to be doing library hauls now so I will show um, those later. For math, he worked on his puzzle, just putting all his shapes together and reading them. And we talked about sides and vertices. He also had a test to do, so he got a couple wrong. And it wasn't because he didn't know it. He was just working so fast that um, he missed them. For history, he did uh, mountains, the definition. And he, we found a mountain Everest to watch on YouTube. And that's what he colored and then we played um, with his definition cards on this game so I pretty much had the cards upside down he would uh, turn them the other way he would read the definition then if he got it correctly and told me what it was he got to move and he played all the way to the end he played with me and played with his sister and then we started talking about from his textbook we began to talk about let me get to it. The people and the resources. So we're just going through right now reading, which is what we did today. We read and we learned new words. So I'll be adding those to his words from the landforms. And that is basically all that he has done. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching.